Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of December. Um, this is the last series I'm putting out for December. Uh, this is for those of you whom perhaps the previous readings I put out did not resonate. If this still does not resonate, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Um, also, you know, check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there if they're not here. Uh, let's begin this reading. Please remember these energies can be vice versa. I will read it as if it is you, but, you know, it could go the other way. In our overall energy, we have a card of strength. So, clearly, um, you're trying to be strong about something here. Um, drawing on your strength. Um, this can be about willpower. Um, having the will to push something forward or to get through something. Strength is the, um, the base uh, of all the virtues. And, um, you know, I feel that you're trying to be strong, to have hope, to have faith. What I see here, um, we have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Stabs representing your uh, situation. You are trying or wishing or, or hoping to get some sort of lucky break with regards to a relationship because we have the chalice up here with regards to someone I feel who has shut you out um, you're struggling uh, with regards um, to getting uh, that second chance or getting back into this person's life this they may have shut you out. That could have happened quite suddenly because it can indicate something happen, happening uh, quite suddenly. Um, we do have the Five of Coins and the Seven of Swords also here. So that's, you know, lie, sneak, cheat card. Um, it could have been, a, a there could have been a third party um, and somebody shut you out in the cold. Somebody cut their losses and got out. Um, I feel like for some time you have been burdened uh, by this. And it's like you're unable to, um, to choose a new direction or uh, to release uh, the burden, you are insisting, especially with Aries being here, um, very stubbornly that this is what you want and you want to like go after it because um, this card can represent somebody who's very headstrong, um, goes after what they want, but it comes with the fool and <laughs> The fool um, may do things impulsively. So there could be some sort of impulsive action that you may take or may be thinking of taking. Having to do with getting a second chance, having to do uh, with this uh, chalice here and um, 
getting a new opportunity with someone. So somebody walked away. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse here. Um, and you are wanting to heal this, but you, you don't know how. Um, we have the Three of Swords reverse, the Hangman, and the Card of Judgment. So you are wanting a second chance. You are struggling uh, with regards to getting that lucky break or getting that um, opportunity to be able to do this, this it's very emotional for you. It's like it's the only direction you can see. This person to you represents your Ten of Cups. For some of you, this is somebody who is married, okay? With the, the cards I see here, the Seven of Swords, Five of Coins, and the Ten of Cups um, is very possible that this person's already in a commitment. It doesn't have to be, but I'm just saying for some of you, I feel strongly that is the case. So um, this person may have um, cut you out or shut you out in the cold. Um, you're trying to find a way back in to open that door again to be able to create new memories with this person or more memories. And I feel almost like it's, it's like a a blind uh, sight. Um, it's like uh, you only see one way is what I'm trying to say. You want to put an end to um, the pain that you've been uh, suffering or holding on to for this new beginning. You either want to extend that olive branch or are hoping that someone will extend it to you to get this new opportunity. You're stuck in the past. Um, You don't want this ending. So you're stuck on this person thinking back um, to those romantic uh, moments that you had shared with that person. And you don't want this to end. You want to try to find a way to move it to calmer waters to get the desired result. So there was, um, clearly, these cards keep saying there was a parting of the ways. Um, somebody walked away. It was not emotionally balanced. Um, and you're reflecting on this news. You're thinking uh, about this, about the situation and how you can repair things or fix things or get the desired result. Um, willing, I feel, to sacrifice to get this. The Witch's Cottage is somebody um, who feels left out in the cold, kind of like that uh, Five of Coins energy. You could be... Um, on the outside so or feeling like an outsider feeling very insecure with that card but yet you know you're trying to be strong trying to have hope and faith that you will uh, get that opportunity trying to be strong again it's the same message you have a lot of fears uh, about the future you cannot see what's going to fill the cups you, again you're in um, this time apart this break from this person um, praying and hoping to be able to transform things trying to be strong 
um, still thinking of those three swords. They're hanging above you. You're hurting. You may very well do something impulsively and then um, regret it um, with these cards. Because the hangman and in reverse in this deck speaks to um, trials and difficulties. Um, something um, something uh, you have sacrificed something and or you were sacrificed which I feel is the case here that you were sacrificed and the three swords um, speak to the um, the initial stage or the beginning of strife and problem uh, yeah problems you have the hangman a lot in your reading so the plan didn't work and you're still you're like assessing this plan and you may do something impulsively or have done something impulsively. Um, if you are planning to do something impulsively um, or planning something uh, to reach out to that person, you need to know that their decision is final. that to try to reach out to them for this opportunity is not a good idea. Because it will only bring more challenging news to you. Um, that will, you know, um, increase your burdens. You need to um, realize uh, or wake up to see um, what you are uh, fighting for, to know exactly what it is you're fighting for here. I feel that um, that this will happen and it needs to happen in order for you to leave this energy behind because right now it's like you're, you're stuck in an energy that's not moving. Trying to get into a door that's not going to open. But you may not be seeing that because of the mind uh, frame. It's like where you are. It's, it's like you're boxed into that one way of thinking and um, insisting on going after it. Um, blindly, really. When... Um, this card here will be reminding you um, that you need to love yourself first, to, to first seek love of self. Because how you feel inside is what you attract to you. I feel that you are wishing for this person to turn up. Um, for some of you, you may do something impulsively. But ultimately, the decision that was made back here is a final decision. You see how that sword is embedded into the ground. It 
if you continue to pursue this path, there's like this feeling of defeat here. It's like going against the flow and keeping oneself in affliction. Understand that it's, everything happens the way it does for a reason. Um, everyone we, we meet in our life has something to teach us. So find the lesson in this and then release it and go with the flow of things because it's happening to... Um, it's like a nudge from the universe to get you back onto the right path. It's only when you don't listen that you end up staying stuck um, in affliction. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I wish you all the best and many blessings.